Friends, we are gonna do bits and have some fun. Dynamic banter, honking horns and ringing bells, and making good. Dynamic banter, <laughs> don't forget the history rose. Dynamic Sounding voice. Protected by the jazz. Dude, that's like what the boss says in the last level of a Sega Genesis video. One of the altered beast bosses. <laughs> you didn't get the dress in the second level? Well. Protected by the jazz. Hey guys, welcome to Dynamic Banter! Honk! 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 Oh boy. Dude, you said something so funny at coffee. <laughs> uh, like by accident. There's two things that happened today at coffee. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And... <laughs> One of them is is what was really inspirational. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and became the mantra for the day, pretty much. Yeah, and then the other one kind of went neck and neck with it. Yeah, I think as a mantra, we just had a good coffee run. We we were we were walking in the rain today. It's raining in L.A. It's mm -hmm. always nice when it's raining in L.A. Notoriously rainy climate. LA, rainy LA. Notoriously rainy LA. Everybody talks about it. Yeah. Bob Dylan sang about the rain in LA. When he was mm -hmm. like, In the rain in LA makes it hard to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Just because I'm not singing about the war anymore. I want to talk about. Rain. Rain. <laughs> really experimental stuff. Some of the best, if uh, if you ask me. You know, big ones. Uh, but we were like walking in the rain, and and I was like, whatever, dude. It's come on, come on. Who gives a shit? Whatever. Whatever.
whatever. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. It barely ever rains here. Barely ever rains. You can put up with it. Also, dude, but it didn't even happen until that woman in the coffee shop said it. <laughs> she said it. She said it oh. to me. Yeah. She we because we came in and we were like fucking drenched. Uh huh. <laughs> and the woman in front of you on in the line. And I'm like, fuck, man, I just it's a little wet outside. And uh, the woman in line in front of me turns to me and makes eye contact and says, "It's just water." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I was like, you know what? Yeah, it is just water, Kevin. It's just water. It's just water. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? It's just water. Yeah. Do you think that she thought that you were making fun of her tough? Maybe, but then like we started talking yeah, to each other. Yeah. Oh, so you you we we yeah we had a, we sure. had an understanding. Yeah. Good. <laughs> what was the conversation? I like? told her that we that I was gonna that was gonna change my whole day actually. Yeah. And if I was just gonna say it's just water. Who yeah. Gives a shit. And it did. It did change your whole day. Was Who knows what we? Your... They are redoing. Let me tell you a little story. They're, it's just water. I wish it was just water. <laughs> They're redoing the apartment upstairs because somebody moved out. Construction started yesterday at right. 8 o'clock in the morning. The only morning me and Zoya had to sleep in. Ah, shit. And so I, <laughs> before anything, I put on shoes and I ran out of the house. She goes, where are you going? And I said, I'm going to go see if this is an appropriate time to redo the apartment upstairs. Oh, hell yeah. And I talked to the person here and they were like, the end of quiet hours is 8 a.m. Damn. And then they said the since there's like a week between when they're redoing the apartment and somebody else moving in, which I don't even know how that timeline works. They're that's like, how they get shit like fucking cracks in the walls. And yeah, fucking... that's how water come in. Yeah. Why? Why even put the windows up there? It's just water. So anyway, it's a great point. So they were like, they basically have carte blanche to come in for a week. Oh, sure. And no one, I'm Whenever like, no one want. knows when they're coming in ever. You can't give like, cause when I lived across the street from you, that woman always gave a heads up. Yes, yes. She was like three floors up. A sink is being put in just so you, so you hear extra noise. That's all it takes. Yep. Whenever a new person moves in near me, dude, I swear to God, when I move into a new place, I go to every neighbor that I share a wall with yeah. and go, this is my number. I I do loud things. If it sucks, just text me yeah. and we'll figure it out. You know? Smart. And I try to do it with every new neighbor that moves in. I try to at least leave a little note. Welcome to the neighborhood. I scream come. Yeah. This, is my, this <laughs> yeah. is my number. Right. Yeah. I scream come a lot. Yeah. Dude, but let's do silver lining. I came in and I was rip shit pissed. So I was like, I can't hear this noise. I can't be in the apartment. Can't mm. concentrate on nothing. Mm. So I took a walk around the neighborhood, called my dad, had dude, a lovely conversation with my help. dad. Also came back in still kind of like calm down. I was like, what do I do with this energy? I wrote a little screenplay format of the conversation oh, that, that uh, in like a sketch form just to see if I could do it. Cause I never fucking do that shit. <laughs> I need you to fill it. So then I wrote this fucking conversation. I was like, maybe it'll be nothing forever. Maybe it'll be part of something. Maybe we'll do it. And I was like, now it just exists. Cause I was fucking pissed off. Damn. Well, I, I love, I, I, you know what, dude, honestly, some of the best content material, whatever, what have you art comes from either being very upset or very sad or very happy. Like you go to the extremes of emotions yeah. and some of the best art comes out of that, I yeah. think. And I, and maybe it's, maybe it's brilliant. Yeah. So Do the you other want to day... cold read it right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That'd be fun. I need to like do, I need to like go get do some it and formatting do it. within itself. But so I maybe also want to say, episode. I also just thought of this yeah. when we were talking about just making art for the sake of making art. Mm. I don't know if I talked about it. I know I definitely wanted to call my friend George cause he does that. I was like trying to call him during the last oh, episode. Yeah. So that day I had a lot of energy. I drew something that I has no intentions of like going anywhere <laughs> yeah. and I love it so much <laughs> and I want you to see it, You, but it'll never show it. I'll show it to you. You'll show it to just me. Yeah. After the show or right now? I'll show it to you right now. Okay. 
It's a, I saw a picture <laughs> of like a guy in a bad. <laughs> Is I, Scream okay? I saw a picture of a guy in a bad Elmo costume. Oh, I love that. And I, I drew a picture of it. We love it. We love a bad Elmo. Dude, I used to, that reminds me of the days when like I would sketch a lot. I used to like sketch a lot of things. Yeah. And some friends and I used to like go have lunch and play the like sketch someone in the room. Oh, I love it. And then who is it? Like which which person we is We should do this? that. Yeah. I would love to do that. It's a great game cuz yeah. you're like obviously you're going full on like ridiculous features <laughs> and stuff. And then you have to and, guess who it is. And someone's like looking around the room and then you're like <laughs> oh, it's perfect. And then that person can never see it. Yeah, no, you sign it and then you give it to them. And then you do this as you slowly walk away. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, have you seen on TikTok? Have you seen on TikTok? I just saw this last night. There's like a caricature artist that does like insanely over exaggerated versions of people okay. like someone has like kind of a big nose and the guy like takes it and stretches it all <laughs> over the drawing yeah and people love it it's uh. just like some good natured like you're gonna if you go to that guy you're gonna get like you may not have the heart for it you know like Why? your heart might be too sensitive to see what like an yeah. artist Oh, oh take... like if he draws you? Yeah, you may not. So if you have no self awareness. Yeah, if you have no self esteem. Like, what's wrong with my face? And then he'll do it. Dude, instantly. He'll be like, I'll show you exactly what's wrong <laughs> with your face. Dude, that's such a great way to get um get around saying it out Dude, loud. Dude, it's perfect. And this and they're hilarious TikToks because you see the people first. Yeah. And then you show him like kind of uh-huh. drawing it, and then it's over, and you're like, it's fucking insane. You I kind of want to show you me. one right now. Show it to me right is now. Is that okay? This yeah. is our show. Yeah. Who gives a fuck? Maybe just a little music to get us from one thing to another. I don't give a fuck. This is our fucking show. <laughs> That's the hammering sound. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. <laughs> kind of hurt, but wanting to yeah, laugh at it. Yeah. He's in Hawaii? Yeah, he's in Hawaii. I bet you anything. That he's like native Hawaiian. Oh, I'm sure. Maybe. And does that because he fucking hates right? all the tourists. Right? He's like, fuck all you ugly tourists. <laughs> that's great. Yeah. Fuck, that's very funny. It's great. There's so many good. Look at her head. I love that she kind of has like a bit of a, you know, bone structure, like a th- bigger bone structure in the face. Sure, she and has a just, chubby face. He made her fucking face the Gigantic. whole background. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Uh, it is funny because you could look at someone and be like, that is the, th- it's very human nature to be like, that's the thing I notice about you first. Right. <laughs> and then to fixate on that and exaggerate it is very, very funny. I guess it like, it's humbling, right? Everything you're told not to do in kindergarten. Exactly. Yeah. I think it would be helpful. Maybe everyone. I mean, it's like we're going to get exposure in a way. A lot of people don't want to have this conversation because mm-hmm. bullying goes overboard. But also, bullying did a lot of good bullying for me in my so life. Bullying is so funny sometimes. Bullying too. not only is so funny, it's so funny sometimes, <laughs> but it really molded me as a person. And sometimes yeah. I feel I never want anyone to get bullied because that's bad. But no, sometimes no. I'm like, man, if you experience a little bit of pain, you can you could really come out the other side something great. Is it um, what makes bullying so funny? That the same reason why that is funny when we hang that up on is, people or that the is pain. Sound? For, oh right, right. <laughs> that's paying for someone to bully you in a life. Right, 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 right. I wish there was a sign that you could wear that said, "I'm okay with a little razzing." Yeah, and then I would Feel go up to that to person. Razz. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is like, rat- you t- hey, why don't you try looking at me uh, with both your eyes at the same time when you say something like that? You've just entered a And then we, we have a little back and forth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And they say, hey, do you borrow one tooth from everyone you ever met before in your life? And I laugh a little bit. That's and then very we go funny. That's <laughs> very funny. 
Are you collecting all the teeth like that guy that gets all the lightsabers? Yeah. In Star Wars. Hey, cool tooth collection. There's no rhyme or reason to it. Um. So anyway, yeah. we were in the coffee shop, and they and the woman said it's just water, and it ended up being like a thing for us. Anthem almost. The whole coffee shop, the whole coffee shop yeah. joined in. On yeah. It. yeah. They're like, is it like? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it is just water. Kind of. I mean, if you want to, if you want to really break it down, not really. Yeah. There's let's, a bunch of stuff. Let's call <laughs> Neil deGrasse Tyson. The rain in LA is just water. I don't think that's accurate. The rain in LA is just water and no harmful <laughs> other things. In it. I'm actually glad I got my coffee because it's just water. Mm-hmm. I like that our wa- that our coffee's got seasoned by that water mm. as we walk. I'm not, I need to put cream in this coffee. Put some cream in that. Will oh, you allow me to step away? Absolutely. For a time? Get out there, buddy. What if I came back dressed like scream time? Scream time. Time. From the movie oh Scream. man, Scream Face <laughs> Screams Guys, so uh, yeah This fucking, uh, this fucking like it's just water Thing was like It really meant something to me Because it was like, yeah, it is just water It's annoying as fuck it's just water. And I can't imagine the people in From other parts of the world That like have rain every day or something And it's like and hard Like that? hurts your face rain Saying it's just water yeah, like they're probably over it. They're probably over the it's just water thing. And they're like, no, it's bad. Yep. And it fucks our whole life. But I don't give a fuck. Hello. Can you hear it? Yeah. <laughs> From like the kitchen. <laughs> Who's there? <laughs> so anyway, and then we were like talking to Kevin about his umbrella. Which it was fascinating to us. It was fascinating to us. And then a new thing was born, Mike. Yeah. A new a new thing that that it might be a, come a, a new phrase. You gotta tell him the whole build up. The whole build up? Tell him the whole build up. Well, <sighs> Start with that part. <laughs> Start with that part. And then tell him the whole build up. Well, I'll tell you guys. Kevin brought his umbrella and I was like, wow, man, cool umbrella, you know? And it's like everybody's got the same kind of umbrella, it seems like. You know, that we saw some woman walking down the street and, uh, you know, she had, she had the same goddamn umbrella. Yes. And uh, Mike was like, well, what is this? The fucking, you guys have the same umbrella? What is, is this like the cool hip umbrella? What is this? Have the same umbrella as that woman walking down the street day? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Would you guys all get together at a meeting where the, the end of the meeting you said we're all going to get the same umbrella day? But somehow I didn't get that message. Dude, I and uh, uh, Kevin was like, "It's a good umbrella. You can see through it." Yeah, well, yeah. It kind of comes over like it a dome, like it, a plastic yeah, it dome. Yeah, kind of engulfs you a little bit. It's and like it's a jellyfish. Don't you say it? Trans- Would you say it's like a jellyfish? Yes. And you can see through it too, like he said. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. He's like, but the thing is, is he's like, you can see through it and that's cool. Like you can hide in it almost. <laughs> that's the opposite. Of that. Well, it was what I was thinking. You can you hide, hide from the it. rain in it. Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm saying. You can yeah. hide from the rain in it. <laughs> yeah, the translucent and, but you can see, <laughs> but you can see all the rain. So you can like, you know, you won't step in any puddles or anything. Yeah. And I was like, I said, wouldn't you wish that there was like these little, yeah, Windshield you were saying, wipers? how do you see through it? Isn't it yeah. all this like, water I see is on fine. It? I said, but wouldn't you wish that there was these <laughs> wipers in there? And we thought that wouldn't you, wouldn't you wish? Wouldn't you wish it seems like an old, like, English turn of phrase yeah. that has been, like, washed out with the yeah. with the waves of time. That people used to say back in like Shakespeare time, like like but they no longer say it. Yeah, like we we are dying, we are dying of this cold. It's killing us all. 
Wouldn't you wish there'd be some sort of medicine to save us? Another day pranced dancing through the decadent daisies. Wouldn't you wish it? Wouldn't you wish it? <laughs> Wouldn't you just wish it? A hot cup of tea frothing in the mouth. Decadent snacks. Decadent daisies. Wouldn't you wish it? <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You want some? You want some like a uh, chamber? Yeah, yeah. A good some, book uh, on a spring yeah. morning. Harp, some harpsichord yeah. stuff. Harpsichord player in the corner of the mansion. We want a harpsichord. Yeah. My dang computer just went what? <laughs> the sun peering through yon window breaks. The window breaks clean from cleaning. What do we? <laughs> Jeeves in the corner fulfilling your every wish, shit. <laughs> Would do. As I strode through the garden of my home, I thought about my progeny. <laughs> I saw visions of them going off to academia. <laughs> Perhaps working in the justice system, laying the foundations for the future of justice in this great world. Wouldn't you wish it? <laughs> Dude, that's a hundred percent what it is. Just as normal as you could possibly. There's no regalia. As fit as a butcher's dog. Exercising up with the morning sun. Physique that of a carnival barker would do it. <laughs> if only my protrusions could be handled without the presence of an unwanted woman, wouldn't you wish it? For mine own sanity, wouldn't oh. you wish it? <laughs> <laughs> I do want, I want, I think, but I want, wouldn't you wish it to be like a, how do we modernize wouldn't you wish it? Like, how do we bring it here? Like, dude, I was fucking a simpler so time. down on my luck yeah. the other day. I woke up you and bought I was all that like, crypto. oh man, I spent so much fucking money on Crypto shit and NFTs. You have a pile Mike, of NFTs in I your apartment. I bought these fucking monkeys with sailor hats, dude. I told you not to do it. And I'm like, these guys are gonna sweep the world. Mm -hmm. And wouldn't you wish it? <laughs> I got a cool package in the mail. Yeah. And it brought my spirits up. I forgot I ordered this super cool thing. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Wouldn't you wish it? <laughs> wouldn't you know? Wouldn't you know it? Yeah. And wouldn't you wish it? And wouldn't you just wish it? Damn, dude. Wouldn't you know it? My yeah, head. like, wouldn't you know Dude, it? Dude, I had a uh, when I woke up this morning, immediately had to blow my nose. Yeah. A little bit of a runny nose There's situation. A, my favorite Beatles song when it opens up. Runny nose. Woke up, the first thing I did, blow the boogers out my nose. <laughs> a doo doo. So, and it sucked, and my eyes were, were red and runny. Took a COVID test. Wouldn't you wish it? Wouldn't you Just wish Just allergies. It? Oh, that's what I'm talking about, my boy. Wouldn't you wish it? Dude, this guy, I, dude, I, do, can you remember Joey Lark? Joey Lark, yeah. Motherfucker won the lottery. Get out of here. Wouldn't you wish it? Wouldn't you wish it? <laughs> Wouldn't you wish it, dude? Little Joey Lark won the lottery? Dude, that's crazy. Do you know Jennifer Connelly is married? Is that right? Wouldn't you just wish it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing it right now. <laughs> Damn, dude. I remember one time I was rollerblading down the steepest hill in my neighborhood. Mm. And I bailed out. I tucked and rolled on the grass, but I hit a bunch of rocks. Mm. My leg was absolutely 
fucked out of my mind. Damn, dude. I looked down. Wouldn't you wish it? Bone wasn't even poking through the skin. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> I would have wished it. I would have. I find myself wishing it. I found myself wishing <laughs> if I were you. <laughs> I, I felt really like, like I would wish it if I were you. We also were talking about. Wait. You're such a dude. You've been working in. You've been doing bad shit out there. Mm. And wouldn't you? I wouldn't. I wish it if I were you to get out of there. And if I was in your shoes, which I'm not saying I am, I don't know how it feels to be you. But if I were me in your situation, wouldn't you wish it? When I wish it, dude. If I was in you, your shoes, wouldn't you want to wish it? <laughs> if I wish to be in your shoes. Wouldn't you be in it? If I wish to be in your shoes, I wouldn't <laughs> wonder about it. Okay. Yeah or no? Wouldn't you want? Wouldn't you want to wish it? You sure that's not why? <laughs> when you? <laughs> are you sure that's not why? Dude, um, when we were walking to the coffee shop, and it was raining, and we were talking about how it rained and how that would be a normal conversation on a normal podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we were like how soaked we were. Well, cause at one point we were like almost to the coffee shop and you're like, I guess I could have made coffee. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I was like, that's something they talk about on a regular podcast. Yeah. yeah. Like someone would be like, that's the funniest thing that happened to them that day. That week. You wouldn't believe what Barbara said. <laughs> Bro, Barbara is. So we funny. get all the way to the coffee shop. Soaked. Soaked. And wouldn't you wish it? <laughs> Barbara <laughs> leans over and says, I guess I could have made coffee. I guess I could have made coffee. Wah, wah. Fucking Margaret. What's her name? Barbara. Barbara. Well, Margaret's the other one. We've been hanging out for 30 years. And I just wish that you guys, I wish it. I that listen. you would remember my name. <laughs> if I were you, I'd wish it. <laughs> I'm all out of wishes. I'm here to chew bubblegum and wish it. I'm all out of wishes, and I'm, I'm, I came here to wish and chew bubblegum, and I'm all out of wishes. <laughs> so, 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 here we go. I watched whatever movie that was. Uh, I had a uh, a John Wick end uh, this past weekend. What's that? Uh, with my lady friend, we watched two of the four John Wick movies. There's four. Well, the fourth is coming out this Friday. Whoa. And uh, I don't know if you've seen any of these movies. No, but I heard they were great. They're balls-to-the-wall action rock and roll masterpieces. I mean, they're not all good. Like, the second one is like, I guess we're back. All right, let's go. Yeah. Because the first one is like a perfect fucking premise for a movie, man. Sure. It's a perfect premise for a movie. It's like retired fucking super assassin like badass fucking nightmare demon retires from being a cold-blooded paid for hire killer yeah and wouldn't you wish it (laughs) he falls in love right same old story james bond falls in love or whatever everyone's always like you know mission impossible tom cruise's yeah, character and is, falls and in love. Isn't that what love is? Isn't that what love is? Like you're focused. You're like I'm a cold. I am who I am, and I'm never gonna change. I'm a cold blooded killer. Yeah. Uh, but here comes this woman into my life. This person changes my life, makes my heart beat. Presumably hot. Presumably hot. And then you're like, mother fuck, I gotta get out of this killer's life and go have a regular one. It's you time know? to have in a life. I gotta go have a life. And then they go to their boss and they go, I'm out. And they go, of course, no problem. There's you just done, one thing. You've done more than your fair share. <laughs> right? You've done more than your fair share. Where were you when I needed you the most? Right by my side. Go on, get out there. You did fall in love. You beautiful Brock. And then he and goes, you get some rest. Yeah. She's gorgeous. My condolences. Hey. But before he goes out of the door. Hey. And then job well done. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Great job forever. And then he leaves the room and, and then he picks up the phone and goes, Dude. Yeah. Kill him. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, 
Because there's no way out yeah. of the like, spy game. You the, can't walk your you way out of the spy game. game. You can't just go like, oh, I fell in love now. Yeah. Time to go. It's like, dude, if you get in your life of crime, you know there's no easy way out. You can't tell your boss who hates his wife dude, that you're out of the kill no game because you, you met a young Philly. You can't tell the guy you're giving mil- billions of dollars to. And that guy's a coke hat. That guy's making so much money off of your perfect ass. <laughs> They're moving bodies up there. <laughs> and uh and so like anyway, you know, you've seen it a million times. The assassin can't get out of the assassin game. You know, it's like you're once you're in, you're in, Johnny. And so but the first John Wick skips all that bullshit. Which is fucking beautiful. It's like, we don't need to see that for the nine billionth time. Yeah. The first John Wick movie is, it opens with, he's already been out of the game. <laughs> and his wife passes away. Whoa. She had a long illness. Damn. Choking? For all we can think... <laughs> For all we know, she uh, she choked for a long she's time. For 12, she's choking for weeks. Twelve years she's <laughs> suffered from choking. Yeah, she started choking, and they just didn't know what to do. Ninety three, my wife was diagnosed with choking. The doctor's like, she passed away two thousand four. <laughs> Mister Wick, your wife just won't stop choking. What could be done? Well, can I, I can... shoot it out? No. Is there something in there making her choke? Yes. I'll kill it. Can we remove it? You can't kill a Cheeto. <laughs> if we take it out, we'll kill, it'll kill her. Wait, why? It's, it's cutting through an aorta. Damn. And it's keeping it plugged. Mm, is there anything we can replace it with? No. Like something cool. She, she's she's going to... You want to keep... If you, you can take her home, actually... But she'll be choking the rest of her life. You want me to watch my wife choke? <laughs> she'll be choking the rest of her life. I'm supposed to watch my wife choke for 13 years. I'm supposed to watch my wife just choke. Well, I go out there. Anyway, so she she had a long illness, and you, and you know maybe maybe that's why he got out of the game. Yeah, because she start she got sick or something. He, he realizes like, like we all do that the time. most important thing is time. Absolutely. <laughs> anyway, so we get into the movie, and his wife is dead. Oh no! It's like the first. It's like the funeral. And she shit. ran out of time. Out of time, dude. And then she, and then the next day, he gets like this package in the mail, like it's the funeral and everything. And he's just this sad. It's Keanu Reeves, so he's like, you feel real sad for him because you're like, you don't want to see anything bad happen to Keanu Reeves. Yeah. When you say I don't even ever want to see something bad happen to Keanu Reeves. Never. Get out of town. Yeah. <laughs> and he he gets a box. And it's a bag of Cheetos. He gets a package in the mail, and it's from his wife. And it's, it's it was like posthumous. <gasps> it's her head. And it was a letter that says, like, I've battled with this illness for so long. You've been by my side. I love you. And it's like, I don't want you to do this alone. Yeah. And it's like a puppy. Whoa. And it's like the dog has this little daisy on the collar. She expects him to fuck the puppy? So that he's going to marry the puppy now. Mm. It's all for love. Yeah, applause, lights go. We rehearsed this! <laughs> anyway, so he's got this puppy and he's like, now he's ready to like move on, I guess. You know, like he can he can fill that giant wife hole. <laughs> fill your wife hole with a puppy. Fill your wife hole with a dog. Is that the name of the episode? <laughs> he can't. We'll lose some sponsors. That's okay. That's okay, dude. Uh, but, but like, and so, anyway, long story short, the whole movie mm-hmm. is about, like, he's down on his luck. His wife just died. She gifted him this final thing. It's this little puppy. Yeah. And then these motherfuckers break into his house, kill the dog, yeah. beat the fuck out of him, and steal his, like, super rad car. Oh, no. And he's like... Uh oh! But that kid is like the son of like a huge fucking like, like a uh, you know a crime boss guy in like the city. So it was targeted. Yeah. Well, not really because it's like what happens is is John Wick's just putting gas in his ride. <laughs> and this punk, like metaphorically, <laughs> this punk ass kid, yeah, comes over and is like, "Whoa, that's a cool ride, man." He's like, "Is that a '69 or whatever?" You know, car talk. Yeah. And he's like, uh, yeah, whatever, man. And then Keanu Reeves gets in the car and the kid goes, how much? 
And he's like, it's not for sale. And he goes, everything's for sale. Or there's a price for everything. Even your dead dog. And he's, he's like, like, what's that supposed to mean? Yeah, what? <laughs> anyway, John Wick's like, whatever, punk kid. And the guy comes over and he's like, I'm sorry for my friend. Everything's okay. They're rushing. And so John Wick goes home to go to bed. And this punk kid's like, this fucking guy? Like, I can buy whatever I want. Fuck that guy. He doesn't know who I am. Yeah, yeah. So he goes and fucking kills John Wick's dog and steals his car, beats the fuck out of him. And then someone tells that kid's dad, who's like the kingpin of like New York crime, yeah. and he's like, oh, fuck. And he goes to his son and he like beats the fuck out of his own son. You know goes, what you did? Yeah. You know what you like, did? You got the Baba Yaga on us. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they call it, the Baba Yaga. What is the it boogeyman. Mean? It's oh, like the I boogeyman. I love it. I love that. But it was funny the because first movie? First movie. Yeah, yeah. You fuck with the wrong guy. And then everybody knows who John Wick is in the whole world except this one idiot kid. Damn. And he just like fuck with the wrong guy and the whole movie is like, hey, John, are you back? He's like, I haven't figured it out yet. (laughs) Yeah. And then he like, he and then he's like killing guys left and right and it's like he's just at the store. Fucking amazing action. Yeah. Dude, I mean, he's just literally like an unstoppable killing machine. Cool. And he's just like so graceful and all the choreography and fu- and like action sequences are just like, Mwah, they're beautiful. It's and just, he's in his 40s, so it gives it. Yeah, hope. dude. And he's doing all the stunts and shit. Tight. He's like a Tom Cruise that isn't batshit fucked out of his mind. <laughs> Keanu Reeves is so, he's like, um, <laughs> dude, Keanu Reeves is if Tom Cruise fucked Freddie Prince Jr. <laughs> yes, exactly. And that's the perfect combination. That's yeah. what you want. So, like, anyway, it's so perfect, and it's, like, fucking, it's a masterpiece. And we've got to say, Mr. L- uh, Lance Reddick, mm. uh, rest in peace. He died on Friday, dude. Yeah. Lance Reddick, an amazing actor in so much shit. He was in The Wire. Yeah. He was. He did a voice on uh, uh, Overwatch? Not Overwatch. Uh, fuck, what's that it's shit? Ch- no. Uh, that game where the thing follows your destiny? Destiny. I think it is Destiny. Man, I'm going to get all the nerds on my ass for this one. But anyway, but Lance Reddick passed away, and it's like a sad, sad thing. And he played this like awesome character, and he's like in every John Wick movie. I think he's in this last one, too. This fourth one. But it was so, so it was kind of like a John Wick end, but it was also a memorial to Lance Reddick in a way, because he's in each one of them. Yeah, that's nice. um, But man, it's so perfect. And he's just like, Killing guys. Oh, dude, the best line in the movie though is like, the it's. I'm gonna paraphrase it, but it's something like, "Oh, you think I'm scared of the boogeyman or whatever?" And he's like, "This guy is not the boogeyman. This is the man you send in to kill the boogeyman." <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. So it's it is destiny. It's destiny. Yeah. So anyway. Rest in peace to Lance Reddick, and dude, you gotta watch John Wick. The new one comes out Friday. I'm gonna try to go with oh, all my friends and shit. Though. But uh, they're all they're all like, what if I just watched the third one? Don't do that. <laughs> I don't think the third one's very good. Really? I'm you liked it a lot? Hold up. I haven't seen the third. I one. saw the third one once. What if I watch half of the third one? You well, pick which half. Here's the thing. <laughs> Let me say something about this. Okay, take your time. The first movie is a masterpiece because the setup is perfect. Uh It's like dude loses his wife. Some punk also then kills his dog and steals his badass car. And now he's on a quest for revenge, right? Easy peasy, super simple concept. And that's all you got to know going into that movie. And the rest of it is just like fucking awesome action and really cool shit. Then the movie ends and you're like resolution. Thank you. That's very good. Thank you. That's nice. We're not like building a franchise, really. Like the first you don't one. Don't have to, but the no, they don't have to. Ends. Yeah. But the first one ends, and you're like, all right, this feels good. And then they're like, John Wick Two is coming, and you're like, okay, cool, because like it's badass, and like sure, I'll watch Keanu Reeves fucking shoot the shit out of and kick the shit out of guys for like two hours. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Uh, but I just felt like the first, the premise of the first movie was like so rock solid and the rest of them just kind of like teeter off of that idea that like you fucked with the wrong guy Mm -hmm. 
Then they just keep doing the you fucked with the wrong guy thing. Yeah, how does he keep being so passionate? That's what I'm about? saying. And it's like, how does this guy never get a moment to yeah. rest? And you find out in the fourth one, the fourth one, he's just addicted to killing. He's just addicted to killing. He needs it. Dude, to come. I had a theory while watching the first one again for the for because I've seen the first one quite a few times, but I hadn't seen it in a while. And he does these things where like his sh- his aim is like perfect. Yeah. He's like headshotting these guys like from across the room. And it's just like headshot, 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 headshot. And it's like, okay, so he's perfect. He can't fuck up. He's doing bullet time. But then he's doing these other things where he's like shooting their both their legs first. Then he shoots their kneecaps, then shoots them in the head. Yeah. And it's like, why is he doing that? Because like, <laughs> it looks cool. I think I realized he fucking loves it. He's he having it. fun. Yeah. He's like having fun. He, when you go back in time and you find out that he killed his dog. <laughs> and he just blamed it he's on his himself. wife. He's yeah. hunting himself. Yeah. Dude, that's bad. That, see, if that's the premise of the fourth one, I'm in. See, that's cool. I think the fourth one needs to be, because, like, dude, what else can they do? The second plot is, like, dude, it's so stupid. The, the plot of the second one is, like, this fucking other super powerful, scary guy from, like, Spain or something comes to him and says you made a blood oath to me john wick and it was like the reason how he got out of like being an assassin okay and so you're like okay that's cool we find out like what he had to do to like get out of yeah. the game yeah and this guy was like you owe me now john wick because i helped you get out of the game <laughs> and uh so the whole movie is like him doing an, a, a thing for that, a favor for sure, that guy. Sure, sure, yeah. And then like, so it kind of is like, all right, everyone's like, oh, I guess John Wick's back or whatever. You, you know, know what, so. you know what's interesting is that even though the first one would is perfect story, it's perfect. that guy, you're so invested in that because that guy is so interesting yeah. and he had such right. an interesting, crazy life. So even though the plot of the first movie might have been the coolest thing that guy ever did in his life, you think there's not like seven or eight really cool things that that guy had to do? Oh, for like, sure. Like, do any of the movies go like in his into past? when he was in the past? See, I'm into that. I would love that. Because, want... you know, to get that good at it, he had to be bad at it Yeah, first. yeah. Maybe he was going to shoot someone in the head and the knee and the penis. Yeah. But then he tripped on a banana. But and maybe he, yeah, like maybe he's, <laughs> he like couldn't get headshots. Yeah. And he had to learn. He kept missing. He had to kill his own family. You know how many times he, he got shot in the shoulder? <laughs> so many times. You know how many scars he has? On he does. He does. And getting Dude, shot. do you know how many scenes there are of him having a shower where you just see the back, you just see his back, and it's like all these fucking scars and shit. Yeah. Dude, you're right. They could they could milk this motherfucking thing forever. Everybody wants to see bad John Wick. Dude, they could do the Young Adventures of John Wick HBO Max series. Yeah. And just have it be like ongoing. And like, it's like Greta Van Fleet kid. Right. Oh God! And he's bad. It would be at Taron it. Edgerton or whatever, yeah. right? Yeah. I've always watched those movies specifically for just that. Just the action, yeah. Mm. And that's what they're but, saying. This fourth one is going to be. Like but the like, best action like I, you watch Rocky for just the boxing. I watch it for the robot. <laughs> Dude, I, <laughs> I only watch Rocky for that one robot. I just watch Rocky for Italians yelling. Italians yeah, yelling. That's why you watch it. I just like to see Sylvester Stallone age. Dude, like, uh, the, I would be on board with Kevin and be like, because, I mean, at this point, certainly I'm only seeing them for the action. Mm-hmm. But they, like, in the first movie, yeah, yeah. they, yeah. like, tease all this, like, really cool world-building shit. Like, they have, like, these, like, gold coins that they're, like, I guess they they get, whenever they kill someone, they're paid with these, like, crazy, like, old gold coins. Sure. And they don't explain it at all. Oh, really? No. And, like, they pay for things with these gold coins. Like, there's, like, a secret assassin club that you can only get into by putting one of the gold coins into, like, a slot. And then you get let in. Wow. And it's like, that thing might be, like, $100,000 or something. Here's what I want to know instantly about the coins. Yeah. Do you get them back? No. So you go into a building... What if you don't like the business in the building? Well, like, I don't feel like doing business. Yeah. Now I lost one lost of my, my coin. I killed like well, a Cuban guy or the, something. The thing is, is like there are like for these assassins, there are these <clears> like <throat> safe havens that they could go to and they're called hotels. Yeah. And if you like go there, you're like protected as an assassin. They're like the highest 
It's like a super safe house for assassins. And then those safe houses use the coins to yeah, pay you for like, other people. You to kill pay people. for like yeah, you use the gold coins to pay for everything in this assassin world. Whoa. And you're like, where are these fucking gold coins? And then in the sequel, they have this. The guy had this like fucking thing that like when he opened it, it was like an artifact. It had like John Wick's blood fingerprint on one side Whoa. and then like it was gonna have his once the like deal is done so they use like all this like really cool like and that's the fifth element that's the fifth element love yeah the fifth element was love <laughs> <laughs> dude is john with the movie where you remind me now because you say all the gold coins he beats up the russian guy yeah and then he starts punching the shit out of that box with a question mark on it Mm. And then you're thinking the, of the Mario Brothers. Mario Brothers. Yeah. That one's like a game. But he kills as well. He can't stop. Uh, he's stomping. He must. He's trying to save his girlfriend. He didn't have a dog though. He didn't have a dog. No. He wrote on the dog. His brother. It was green. That's oh. Yoshi. Yoshi the dog. Yoshi. That's a video game. <laughs> <laughs> Not he ate a leaf and then he flew to heaven? <laughs> That's not John Wick. That's not John Wick. I know that you're the movie guy. Yeah. But... Just trust me. That's not John Wick. I think he's thinking of Super Mario World. It's like... How can, <laughs> <laughs> how can all the other stuff you said match up so perfectly, but now it's I mean, not... I think... Kills his wife. So you said you eat, he ate a leaf? He ate a leaf. And he became like a raccoon Ran kind fast. of... fast. Okay, that's Mario 3. Heaven. That's Mario 3. Super Mario Brothers Because there were coins, you said, with the coins. Well, the coins are not like... The, that's a video game. <laughs> this is a movie. Genuinely I thought we had a thing where we kind of wouldn't embarrass each other on the game. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we talked about this. So anyway, like, they, 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 like, introduce all this lore, and you're like, what the fuck is all this? Like, it's like this, like, cool assassin shit. Yeah. That's, like, ancient, seemingly, right? Yeah. And then they like drop the ball on it, I yep. think, because we they I seen the third one they I, I guess I I saw the third one once and I can't remember if they go into that. More. Maybe it's the fourth. I'm gonna keep watching it. Fourth Maybe one's they Friday. Close a bunch of, Maybe uh, who knows? Maybe I'm excited though. Anyway, Add. all right, let's get some lambs. Yeah, protected by the jet. You want to be? That'll be the ad music if you want. I you like want to do that? Yeah. Go ahead. Guys, let's talk about factor. Uh, yum, 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 yum. When I get hungry, I want to put food in my tum tum. And I'll tell you, the best yum yums that come from uh, someone else's tum tums are the ones that are easier to make. So why don't you power up for uh, springtime with Factor, America's number one ready-to-eat meal kit. Uh, you get nutritious, chef-prepared meals delivered straight to your door, leaving you time and energy to tackle everything on your to-do list. Hey, 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 are you too busy to cook, Kevin? By the jet. Well, with Factor, you can skip the trip uh, to the grocery store and skip the chopping as well. <laughs> skip the shopping and skip the chopping. Why don't you get to shopping? Why don't, why don't you get to chopping? Why don't you get to shopping and stop chopping? Protected by the jet. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Kevin? Kevin, you alright? Kevin? 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 Guys, with 34 chef prepared, dietitian approved weekly options, there's always something new to try. You can enjoy meals for any time of the day with breakfast options like egg bites, Protected by the jet. smoothies, and more. By the jet.
Get Factor and enjoy clean eating without the hassle. Simply choose your meals and enjoy fresh, flavor-packed meals delivered to your door. Ready in just two minutes. So head to factormeals.com slash banter50 and use that code banter50 to get 50% off your first box. That's code banter50 at factormeals.com slash banter50. Please welcome to get 50% off your first box. (laughs) Damn, John Travolta wanted in there. Guys, Mint Mobile. I smell something minty, and it's in the air. And it is, however, whatever the, however, cell phones work. By the jet. You believe it? (laughs) You believe it? You believe in the power of a curse? You believe in the power of a curse? Spending less is one of your top goals for 2023. Why are you still paying insane amounts of money every month for your phone bill? in space sometimes things pass by why are you still paying insane amounts of money for your phone bill switching to mint mobile is the easiest way to save this year as the first company to sell premium wireless service online mint mobile lets you order from home and save a ton with phone plans starting at just 15 dollars a month i don't give up yeah well you will. <laughs> you will. You sweet. <laughs> and the kid, kid might ask you, my mom, if she's got candy in her purse. <laughs> you <a> sweet. <laughs> you <a> sweet. <laughs> you <a> sweet. <laughs> For people looking to save uh, extra this year, Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just 15 bucks a month. How about that, Johnny? By going online only and eliminating the traditional costs of retail, Mint Mobile. <laughs> like you look, <laughs> you look like a trucker. <laughs> like just in his truck with this music playing. <laughs> My daughter got me this cassette tape. <laughs> it's my new favorite. Don't be ridiculous. He's got a gun. <laughs> Very special episode. Guys, all plans come with unlimited talk and text plus high speed data delivered to the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone. With any Mint Mobile plan, you gotta use your own phone. Use your own phone. With any Mint Mobile plan and switch easily in minutes with an eSIM. Switch to Mint Mobile and get a premium wireless service starting at just 15 bucks a month. So to get your wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free. Of course not. 
Uh, you go to mintmobile.com slash banter, Kevin. That's right, mintmobile.com slash banter. It took me so long to figure out what that was. Mintmobile.com slash banter. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash banter. Two more ads here, guys. <laughs> Believe it or not. Bit of a pingy ting. That's right, it is. <laughs> You're damn right. You're dang right, you fuck. Hit it. Guys, dad grass. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to guarantee you a big old bait ass time. been too damn high by the jack. we've all been there with today's weed finding perfect dose can be a dangerous game but dadgrass is reviving the pleasure of the casual toke so you can chill out with the stress <laughs> it's crazy enough out there weed shouldn't send your world spinning ditch the paranoia and take a toke of something low dose, bro. I'm talking highly enjoyable. <laughs> the robots hang out each other. Yeah, man. That robot's down to hang out and smoke it up. Dad Grass is legal organic smokable hemp that relaxes your body and mellows your mind. Sorry, buddy, you don't have lungs. <laughs> Protected by the drug. Wait, why are his eyes glowing red? He took a lot of that. <laughs> He's upset, dude. Just tell him he can have it. Just tell the robot he can have it. Get, fine, take it! Guys, we're talking 100% organic pre-rolled joints that are very low in THC. <laughs> very low in THC, brother. It's like an old LucasArts point-and-click game. <laughs> we're talking low in THC and high in CBD. So you can enjoy the effects of cannabis. <laughs> While keeping a clear head.
And guys, all Dadgrass products are federally legal. For ages 18 and over. <laughs> so whether you're looking for a new buzz or a chill way to keep an old favorite, Dadgrass will leave you in a euphoric mood. So right now, Dadgrass is offering our listeners 20% off your first order when you go to dadgrass.com slash banter. That's dadgrass.com slash banter for 20% off your first order. That's dadgrass.com slash banter. That's dadgrass.com slash banter. That's dadgrass.com slash dadgrass. Dadgrass.com. Guys, and last but not least, oh, I'll tell you, ain't nothing about this. Protected by the jet. Uh, <sighs> Miley Cyrus in that interview. She's dead. Protected by Dude, the jet. Dude, I'm dead. It kills me every time. Yeah, it's not about the journey. It's about the journey. It's about the journey. Dude, I'll say this. That picture she took for her album cover, that's like one of the coolest rock photos I've seen. I don't I've know if seen I've seen it. Time. The one where she's hanging from the trapeze thing. It's like a cool, like, old school fucking Rolling Stone type. It's very cool. There's That's a big awesome. billboard on Sunset. I want to see it. Anyway. All right. <laughs> Don't you wish you don't 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 you Whoa, that is badass. Uh, yeah, I think that's a great photo. And you could also uh, advertise on the Dynamic Banter podcast by calling Kevin's personal cell phone, yeah. which is 877. Yeah. Please welcome. It's the. Don't you wish you could? It's 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 Settle men, settle It's Don't you wish you could? wiped too hard yeah with TP only to have your finger bust through and graze your poop yeah like when you stick your finger through the fence to try to touch a, a little animal or to try to get a signed Babe Ruth baseball back like there's a boys there's a sh there's I know this guy's got a sheep if you're real nice if you're real nice you can put a middle finger through the fence and he comes by and you can touch the wall. happened like five times. Why does that happen, you think? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not smart enough to explain what, what, it. What's connected to this? Space. <laughs> <laughs> who's, who's, who's making the connections here? <laughs> the thing is, is when you stick your finger into your own poop, uh, you immediately wash your hands, right? Yeah. Sometimes. If there's time. If there's time. <laughs> Sometimes I gotta rush at the door. Don't you? I use the gra drag my finger through the grass. Like a dog. Like a dang dog. But here's the thing. The same thing should go for your b-hole, buddy. If you're gonna clean your dang dirty fingy because you touched your stinky, 
then you're gonna want to eat maybe something that's gonna clean your bum like a water does. Uh, wop uh, wiping only. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite thing is how excited we were for this sponsor. Me too, man. We're like, yay, Tushy. We love Tushy. They're going to love this. <laughs> <laughs> Wiping only smears around the bacteria, Mike. Oh. <laughs> Washing gets your bum twice as clean. Tushy bidets support better health and hygiene and can protect your booty. From annual cases of hemorrhoids, UTIs, yeast infections, anal fissures. A word? <laughs> I'm just learning this for the first time. Dude, that's tight. And itching. Never itch your crumbus again. I haven't had an itchy crumbus since I started using Me too, it. dude. I'm not even kidding. Uh, why don't you feel confident knowing that your bee hole is the cleanest in any room? How about that? So guys, Hello Tushy, here's let me tell you how this works. The Hello Tushy bidet cleans your bum two times better than wiping and prevents poo particles from spreading to your hands and everything you touch. Eyes. And Hello Tushy is the modern bidet attachment that's eco-friendly, easy to install, and affordable for every pooping household. There's no electrician or plumber needed. It attaches to your existing toilet, installs in under eight and a half minutes, and cuts down your TP use by 80%. Come on, guys. You save money and you're saving the world a little bit. Less you paper have the power waste. To save the world? We're giving you the opportunity to save the world and you might not do it? What? I know. I'm saying what? Did we all get through 2020 so you could not save the world? Dude, as soon as you said that, I was like, what? Dude, I heard myself saying, I was like, huh? Uh-oh. Dude, I heard myself saying it, and I was like, <laughs> I can't out there. actually going back in time, hearing myself saying that, and hearing... So once you make the restroom your best room with the complete Tushy system, including the Tushy bidet attachment, ottoman, toilet brush, and Tushy stand and tissues. So guys, go to hellotushy.com forward slash banter. And use the promo code BANTER. That's 10% off your first order, guys. If you go to hellotushy.com forward slash BANTER, use the promo code BANTER for 10% off your first order. It's just water. <laughs> Come on, guys. It's just water. Thank you, Hello Tushy. Man, that Neil Gosh can play. I want to fuck that song. I want to fuck Neil Gosh. I'll say it on this podcast. Thank you. Thank you for me for being brave for saying that. That's brave, dude. History. <laughs> we got time for one. History. Drum sounds. Drum sounds. Drum History. sounds. Next. Where's your work? Next. Do. Don't you wish? <laughs> up, up, up. Kyle or Shanisha? Pick it. Okay, Mike, we've got a bombastic. I'll lay on my. I'll take that one. <laughs> 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 Someone opened open the door to, <laughs> to the harpsichord times. room. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you wish it? <laughs> Mike, we have two choices here. You want to hear a bombastic banter. A teacher responds. These people are all dead. Or a church confession history road. Oh, one of the last two. I think the whole episode has been bombastic. 
So reading a teacher's Bringing response down, might be yeah. a calming. I like that. Nice way to land the plane. I think that sounds nice, Mike. Oh, don't you wish you? Kevin doesn't like it. You want the teacher one? Yeah, I guess. That was church confession was not bombastic. That's the not bombastic one. There were three. There's a one bombastic banter, called... which was a teacher response. Uh huh. Or church confession is through road. Oh, oh, the bombastic was the teacher one. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Church confession. Let's go to a church confession. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you read both of those? I skimmed both. Of them. Did you have a favorite? Shanisha says, Shanisha says, Church Confession History Road. Long, sure. long time listener. <laughs> this is a nightmare out there. What's it raining? Uh oh, <laughs> someone check the. When he kills someone the in rear window. The <laughs> doors are open. <laughs> Oh, uh, long time listener, first time history roader. <laughs> this is uh, <laughs> this was an impulsive decision, and I'm nervous because you both are the funniest people ever. <laughs> uh, we sure think so. Feel free to lie in the history roads. <laughs> I've listened to every episode to date on repeat. Probably could recite episodes word for word. What? That would be a funny TikTok trend. People get on and just recite fucking dynamic banter episodes. Insane. <laughs> I would love it. Uh, I could probably recite episodes word for word, even though I have better things to do. Amen. Considering I'm in law school. Ooh, they could be our lawyer. Whoa. You want to be our lawyer? We're going to need you soon. Definitely going to. Uh, can say, uh, but, uh, but I'm dedicated to DB and have been following since the source fed days. Thank you. <laughs> Kevin just woke up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you? My name is Shanisha, pronounced Shanisha. Tutton? Just turned 21, proud patron member. Ooh, yeah! Thank you. And am a listener all the way from Malaysia. No more fun. Oh, you can't do that, right? No yeah. more. No. 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 <laughs> try to plug that in. Try to try to turn this on here. Let's see. Does this work? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that uh, Shanisha Shanisha is saying maybe the only listener from Malaysia. No. Nope. <laughs> no. There's two. There's two or three. I think <laughs> there's actually two or three. Ringo knows something we don't know. My story. <laughs> <laughs> no. Are we ever going to finish this episode, Ringo? No. Okay. <laughs> My story dates back from when I was forced to be a young born altar server gal. I'm Catholic, or at least I was, before the devil got a hold of me in 2015. Mm. <laughs> I'm For clarification, my church has a venue where people would host parties after Mass for weddings or post-baptism ceremonies. Basically, after servers had to prep Altar servers had to prep before mass by reciting prayers and changing to their robe with other servers. But the other altar servers at my church were freaky, to say the least. No. <laughs> no. He goes not into it. There was uh, this one boy who I shall not name, Matthew, who was into another girl at my church who was like four-ish years older than him. And mind you, we were 13. No. In case you didn't know, the priest prays over the blood of Christ before every mass hours beforehand. Yeah. Well, long story short, Matthew brought this girl to the same spot we pray at and makes out with her because he probably has a church kink. No. They, <laughs> they accidentally bump into the wine Spilling it all over the floor, and that's when I knew we were both in deep shit. Because God knows. 
God knows what you're Immediately at. knowing I would be reprimanded because of my association with the idiot. Please. I told him about. Uh, 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 I, 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 told, I told him about. <laughs> I told him about a birthday party that was being held at the venue next door. This is important because they had grape juice. No. Long story short, we poured that shit in, <laughs> covered it with a gold disc, and started praying to Christ that nobody would find <laughs> out. That's amazing. Remember when Jesus turned the grape juice into wine? Yeah! For the kids. This is... The priest actually served a group of like 100 to 150 people, including my very religious father, wine that was actually grape juice that hasn't been prayed over. Damn. With my sorry ass standing next to him, holding the gold disc underneath the cup. I'll tell you this. I'd rather have the wine prayed over than the altar service. I'll tell you that much. Please. This has to be the worst sin ever, considering I lied to so many Catholics that have probably dedicated their lives to the church, but nobody knows about this story till this date, and I will bring it to my grave. I'm, war I'm warning you. Haven't been to confession in like nine or so years, so there you go. Keep this between me, you born boys, the hundreds of viewers listening to this, and the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. No Your secrets more are safe with us. Love you guys and Zoya. She's gorgeous. Yeah. She's right. There's a phone number there, but there's no way in hell we're calling you. Is there a way in heaven? The devil got to him, and I want that shit on the show. You don't want the devil coming through the phone Absolutely lines. not. Like I've done my best to keep the devil out of this program, and I ain't going to start letting the boy in now. Is the journey life is about to <laughs> Protected by the jerk. All right. Mike. What a bonkers show, man. <laughs> we talked about John Wick for three hours. It really went off the rails on this I one. I hope you watch it. Will you watch it? Yeah. You should watch it. The first one. Watch yeah. the first one at least. The first one's worth it. Okay. If you can't find it, I think it might be. Do you have HBO? Yes. It might be on HBO. I can't wait. Um, speaking of I can't wait, tonight is the surrounded show in the main room of the Hollywood Improv. By this point, tickets are probably gone. On the off chance that they're not, Go ahead and look on the improv.com, mikefalzone.com. I'll have all that shit in my stories on Instagram and all that stuff. Um, dude, in advance, thank you to everyone who bought tickets. We So today is Wednesday. Last night we went and we set up chairs and I got so excited. We're pointing lights and stuff and we haven't gotten it all figured out yet, but I'm dude, just very yeah. excited. There's never been that many people to surround the show before, so um, it's going to be awesome and I can't wait. Had a lot of memories of like starting the show in the little room. And then if people every once in a while being like, man, this would be cool in the main room. And then uh, we did it. So hopefully it works out. Dude, I can't wait. That's a big boy's room right there. It's a big boy's room. You can fit so many big boys so in the So many room. big boys can fit in there. <laughs> that question absolutely sent Kevin. <laughs> the vision of big boys in that room has Kevin sent. Don't need this shoe, don't need this shoe, don't need this shoe, don't need, don't need, don't need, don't need, don't need. That was a headgum podcast. <laughs>